explain what that is. It means Julie Seedorf number one because our channel name is Julie Seedorf. So yeah, and today we are starting our series DIY decor. So it today we're just doing like a crayon art thing that you can hang up in your bedroom, in your kitchen, anywhere for inspiration or anything. And yeah. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so to begin with, you're going to want to lay out your crayons on cardboard board thing. And so I decided to go pink, then red, then orange, then like yellows, greens, blues, purples, tan, brown, gray, black, white. And I did them all lightest to dark, so like the lightest pink to the darkest pink the lightest orange to the darkest orange and we only had one red but these are just the play school and right now you can kind of they're all kind of mixed up but it, but um we're gonna do um so you can barely see like the play school and labels and stuff when we do that and yeah that's all there is to the first part of it now we're putting some glue on the bottom and my glue gun is kind of old and rickety so hopefully it will stick. But you know, the thing about art, art is in the eye of the beholder. So if you do a project and you like it, that's all it counts. Doesn't matter if someone else doesn't like it. Now Maggie, this is her palette of colors and she likes it. We're not sure how the melting process is going to go. Normally, I would use a canvas for this, but we kind of sometimes have to make do with what we have. So this time we used cardboard. And we'll see how it works when we actually do the melting of the crayons. We think that might work okay. But a canvas would be fun because canvas kind of absorbs some of the colors and you can play around with it probably a little better than cardboard. Now some people might think that this is just meant for a kid's room because it's crayons. But as an adult, I like colorful things too. Color makes me happy. So there you go. We've got the crayons all glued and now it's time. We'll take a little break for a second. Holy cow! I'm in a book with my cousins and of course my brother. Which I'm going to call it thingamajig by my grandma, Julie Seedorf, Snickle Fritz, her, Snickle Fritz, her new book. Wow, read these books. Bye. Here we are now with all of them um, glued on there and we kind of already started doing it a little bit, but only a little bit. So right now you're just gonna start by taking your um, blow dryer. Notice the color on the paper. You're just going to take by um, your blow dryer and blow it on there. So we'll show you that. So we are not finished yet, but I kind of figured out a different technique. So just lay it down on the platform that you're doing it. We're doing it on a table. And just kind of um, blow the air on like the crayons for a little bit. And then when you're done with that, Set it up and then blow the air downwards and it will push all the melted stuff down. And yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. So yeah, we're going to keep doing that. Thanks for watching and 
Leave down in the comments your favorite part about this video and some other videos that you want us to make. We like to do DIYs, some recipes, maybe room tours, shopping hauls, challenges, um, yeah, anything else. And thanks for watching. Bye! being in spotlight. That's okay. Natasha. Head in the clouds, got no head on shoulders. Grandpa's home. I'm right here, but you guys are going to wear baking videos. Bye.